Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is a continuation of the last video where we left off creating this biome using a spline. As you can see, in uh, this video, we'll be adding another spline as such. Let's, uh, I'll just show you. And which will allow us to create paths in the forest. As you can see, you can have multiple splines. The paths can overlap each other. And you also have an option to control the path length, as you can see. So, okay. so let's say if I have 100, 60, I think, that, yeah. I think this is fine so yeah it works very well with our biome automatically removes the grass and trees you can have merging paths like this as you see and yeah do check out the first part if you haven't seen and hope you guys will enjoy this video let's get right into it so last video we left off with this spline where we have this spline which we can control. We have various parameters. For example, I'll just show you. If I just click on the parent, as you see, we have parameters for grass density. We have parameters for grass height. Then we have parameters for let's say tree, tree density. If I increase it, we have less number of trees now. Then tree radius. So, so yeah. So now let's go ahead and continue building on this. Next thing we want to do is like add a path which we can use to traverse. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to do that, uh, first thing I do is create a new actor blueprint. I'll name it BP underscore forest path. I'll open that up. What we want is a spline component. A spline component. I just increase the default length. Another thing what I'm going to do is click on the root and if you type in tag, add a tag and name this as path. Compile this. Now open up your PCG graph. So this is what we had created last time. So this was for the grass, this was for the trees. So actually I'll just comment them, tree spawner, so that it's just a bit easier to identify as this is going to get a bit bigger now. Same thing with this, this grass. Should be fine now now for the part we let's just first drag this in all right and i'm just going to reduce the tree radius a bit so that we can experiment okay that should be fine okay First thing we want to do is to make the path. We want to clear up, let's say, the grass. So let's do that. That. What we want is another get spline data. This time, instead of self, we want to do all world actors. And the actor selection tag, this will be path. 
same thing which we made path all right then you want to get a spline sampler again make sure unbounded is true also over here make sure you have select multiple is on and you can also do must overlap self if needed and also ignore self and children same make a spline sampler let's debug this and you can see it's sampling it yes now this is too small we want to have like a bigger radius so you can add a bounce modifier let me just check what i do yeah a bounce modifier and lastly what we need is a difference node and now disconnect this from your grass corner from the transform points connect that to the source you can disconnect this node and inside the difference connect the bounds modifier and just connect this to the static mesh point force region save let's check it out where did it go I don't think it's working. Let's see if it has a tag. Let's add the tag to the spline as well. Okay. this was on my previous one that's why so all right. so nothing's happening this is because your spline method is subdivision let's change that to distance save it let's check now let's increase the bounds modifier and check also from minimum we can do to binary yeah as you see now you have this path if you extend it it's going to remove your grasses beautiful all right now if you want to increase the scale here in bounds modifier you can just let's increase the y by five and five to do that let's do ten so yeah i'll do 25 and 25 so yeah that's it that increases your scale as you can see So we need to control this again from our actor blueprint. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'll do is let's open up the actor blueprint and open it up and add a new variable we we'll in this path length so this will be type float make it public i'll add it into a new category called path options and all right let's give it a default value of let's say 25 and now inside our construction script We'll create a new vector and this will be our path vector. Type vector, make it public. I'll add a description 
do not edit inside the editor all right so so what we want is the x and z to be one and just the y to increase so you can just split this x1 y1 and for your y you can just connect the pathway now inside your pcg graph get actor property this will be your path vector and connect that to the both bounds min and bounds max save and now let's test it out so i'm actor so path options let's change the path length to 100 yeah perfect then phi zero so yeah this is nice now let's add okay before that i'll keep it 50 for now i think this also a bit too much let's keep it 30 that's fine so now uh, before we remove the trees with the same method let's add some the some path so for that i'm actually using decals from mega scans i'll just show you so i'm using this decal material so this one i'm using this to create a path so let's do that i'll open up my pcg graph make some space here and from my bounds modifier i'll add a spawn actor node no merging and inside my template actor class i'm going to type in decal actor this is what we need then check allow template actor editing to true this will give you a template actor just open it up and if you keep expanding you'll find this decal material and just select yours and assign that let's check and yeah there you see now one thing you'll notice is this decal coming in your plants as well so if you like that you can leave it as it is if you don't want that what you can do is inside your static mesh spawner where you are spawning the grass type in decals and uncheck this receive decals uh, node save and you can see no more decals on plants and you have a perfect path and let's just play with it i can extend it all right really good uh, if we want we can even I have the path length change i'll do 150 that's too much so based on your decal you can have different paths i think this is fine for now let's quickly add this to the trees as well so i'll just take this entire thing copy it here and do the same add a difference node connect this to the difference and see so now let's check if all right so if i forest part and i'll select this
So let's see whether the trees are disappearing. Oh, that's because the difference mode is minimum. Let's change it to binary. Save. Yeah, that's working now. So let's check why these trees I'm not sure if it's clearing or if it's not let's check properly I'll take this let's see whether this tree is getting this move I don't think so all right, let's check why that's happening. I'll open up my PCG graph. So let's see what's happening. Oh, so we have two differences. It's probably that's why. So I'll connect this over here. Save. And now. Yeah, you can see the tree went. So we have a beautiful path between the forest. And next video, we'll try to create a beautiful house, some fence. And yeah, stay tuned. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next part. I'll try to make that happen. And yeah, thanks a lot for following the series. And yeah, do subscribe, do let me know what you guys want to see in the next tutorials. I'll try to make that happen. I always love to make what the community wants to see. So yeah, as you can see, a beautiful path you can make. And yeah, let's change the See, let's increase the tree density and check. We'll make this let's say 100. Yeah, looks amazing. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thanks.